One family thinks a killer may be on the loose. And now attorneys representing the dead man's family say new tips to investigators may help put someone behind bars. SNN local news reporter Rob Wells takes us to Manatee County where detectives are hoping to find answers for a family who lost so much. Sarasota attorney Andrea Flynn Mogensen says there's still unanswered questions in a death investigation. This family wants justice on behalf of their family member. That's what they want. So uh, I think it's normal and human not to want to give up. Mogensen represents the family of Jill Mullins, whose husband Patrick went missing after a boating outing in January. Seven days later, the 52-year-old Palmetto High School librarian was found dead. Investigators say that Mullins was tied to a 25-pound anchor and four feet of water in the Braden River with at least one gunshot wound to the head. The death was thought to be a suicide. Mullins' family thinks otherwise. If it is criminal, we want to know that. And if there's someone responsible, we want them brought to justice. And we'll find resolution for the family because certainly that's what we want. I mean, we don't want to, we're not working against the family here. We're, we're trying to work with the family. Even though no signs of foul play were ever found, a veteran detective and homicide sergeant are now looking at other possibilities. Those working the case say that they hope not only to get more answers in the investigation, but also to give the family some peace of mind. Extremely traumatic, can't get any worse, right? when something like this happens to a loved one. So yes, we want to bring closure for the family. Sheriff officials hope to reveal new findings in the case within the next few weeks. They're hoping it will not only shed new details, but also give more answers to a family dealing with a terrible loss. In Bradenton, Rob Wells, SNN Local News. Now the Mullins family says they've always rejected the idea of suicide being the cause of his death. They say Mr. Mullins had no marital, professional or health problems that might have led to him considering hurting himself in any way.